Welcome back. Uh, well, last week was a short week because of the uh, 4th of July. Uh, we got some macro data, uh, strong unemployment or the strong employment report, um, which uh, surprised the market. I mean, the narrative going into the second half of the year was uh, weakening macro data. So the, you know, the pretty decent uh, employment data really caught the market by surprise. So we're back to this uh, strange mode where good news is bad news. And that's really because the market at the moment in this sort of uh, sleepy summer period is driven by the Fed. So the, you know, the the key thing is the key expectation is that the Fed will lower rates twice. Uh, next week we have the Fed meeting, so we will we'll see if you know Powell and uh, and the uh, the committee will lower rates by 25 basis points, which is the expectation. Obviously, the political dynamic uh, at the moment isn't isn't great for that. Uh, we don't certainly don't want um, the Fed to be perceived to be political. Uh, and that puts them in an awkward position. So, but the, the, still, the market's expectation is two, is at least two rate cuts. That's what the market is pricing in. Uh, equity prices on a daily basis are kind of driven by that at the moment. It's it's very interesting. On Friday, uh, you had had a sell-off in 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 you know the types of stocks that would be more interest rate sensitive. Um, given the, 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 the stronger economic data. So we're watching that very closely. So um, it's interesting in Europe, uh, we got the news that uh, Christine Lagarde has been nominated as the next ECB um, head. Uh, that will certainly be an interesting appointment. Uh, Draghi's been there pretty much uh, th in the post uh, uh, great, uh, great uh, recession uh, period. Draghi's been, been at the helm there. And he's basically done the same playbook that uh, the, the Federal Reserve has done, you know, quantitative easing. Obviously, they're having much more trouble getting out of QE uh, in Europe. Uh, and we'll see if uh, Christine Lagarde can, can do any better uh, with that. Um, other macro data, just uh, briefly, uh, new vehicle sales in the U.S. declined in the first half. So we're watching that closely. Obviously, if you look at the kind of the, 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 the major macro uh, pieces in the U.S. economy, the consumer, automobiles, and housing. Uh, you know, you want each of those to be on strong footing. Uh, so we've seen some, some uh, declines in new vehicle sales. On the other side, Tesla actually had very good numbers, which surprised. Uh, I mean, that's obviously uh, uh, electric e-vehicles and electric vehicles are taking market share from traditional vehicles. So it was nice to see that Tesla actually made some, some uh, more optimistic numbers and it made a higher high in production in the second quarter. Um, on other news, uh, Deutsche Bank, I mean, for uh, us uh, C.J. Lawrence people, uh, we obviously came from Deutsche Bank. If uh, you remember the history of C.J. Lawrence, uh, Deutsche Bank bought C.J. Lawrence uh, in the middle in the, or, or bought Morgan Grenfell in, in the, the mid-80s. Uh, Morgan Grenfell, the British Merchant Bank, had previously bought C.J. Lawrence. So if you think about the equities team uh, that, uh, that we came from in the mid-90s, that was really the, the core of, of uh, the, the C.J. Lawrence business. So uh, it's sad to see a, 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 a venerable institution uh, like Deutsche Bank uh, announcing that they're cutting 18,000 jobs and really uh, reducing the size of, a, of the bank to a, a, a minor player. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, on other news, um, uh, healthcare stocks, it's interesting. Uh, the biotech stocks are getting hit again uh, uh, just today in the last couple of days uh, after uh, Trump announced that he would perhaps do a, an executive order on uh, making the U.S. A, a favored nation status, so to speak, for drug pricing. So that basically means if you are a U.S. drug maker and you're selling drugs abroad, uh, he would require uh, these drug makers to sell um, the, uh, the drugs uh, here locally at the lowest price as compared to everywhere else in the world. So that obviously is very challenging to the current healthcare system that we have. 
Um, at the moment, uh, we don't have wholesale collective bargain, I mean, collective uh, pricing uh, when it comes to our, whether it's Medicaid or Medicare and other countries in the world, obviously the, the government buys uh, drugs for, for, for example, for the elderly in bulk uh, and therefore negotiating much lower prices than what we uh, pay here as consumers. So we're watching that closely. I mean, healthcare stocks have been kind of uh, not the greatest uh, uh, sector to be in year to date, but we're seeing some very interesting developments there, it, more on the science side, uh, and we've talked about that in the past. Uh, that's really the result of genomics testing and DNA testing and all the research that's coming out of the R&D, the major R&D players uh, in the immunology area, which is very interesting. And that all obviously relates to cancer, and other kind of immune uh, or, um, diseases that are, are related to the immune system or, or inflammation. So we are still quite bullish on healthcare, but in the election cycle, obviously this is gonna be a hot topic. So we continue to watch that closely. So that's it for the week. It's been, uh, it's a slow, these are the slow, this is the slow period in the summer. Uh, all the focus in the next couple of weeks is gonna be on the Fed. So we'll see what happens next Tuesday. Otherwise, our companies are still reporting very good earnings. I mean, at the moment, there isn't much uh, coming out. Um, the, it's interesting, more defensive stocks. If I just look at the portfolio today, for instance, more defensive stocks are starting to perform better again. Uh, you know, that's, that's typical in a period where there's a bit of a risk off uh, uh, period here. So, that said, have a good week and we'll see you again next week.